Hi, the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian here on Tuesday, April 3rd. Nothing but blue skies out there right now here in the Mid-Atlantic region. It looks like it'll be wall-to-wall -wall sunshine today. Only a couple of clouds can be seen on the latest satellite image around the D.C. area for the most part. Mostly sunny skies with rather pleasant temperatures this afternoon. The wind will not be nearly as strong as it was yesterday. There is a weak front that will move through late tonight. It could cause a couple of widely scattered showers, but it'll clear the coast by tomorrow morning. And tomorrow should feature partial sunshine. It won't be nearly as sunny as today, but there will be a mix of clouds and sun and still rather warm conditions. It'll turn cooler on Thursday as a new strong widespread Canadian high pressure system begins to take control of our weather. But that cool air mass should modify somewhat as we move into the weekend. And by Saturday and Sunday, we'll have mostly sunny skies with pleasant temperatures thanks to that large Canadian high pressure system. I thought we'd start off with the satellite image just because we don't see this too often here. It is just totally clear throughout the Mid-Atlantic region for the most part. There, if you look real closely, you can see a couple of scattered clouds right around the D.C. region. But for the most part, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine today. There are some clouds showing up on the western edge of our GOES visible satellite image from the Penn State eWall site. And again, clouds will increase somewhat tonight, and there can be a widely scattered shower, but certainly nothing significant. Sunshine returns tomorrow, at least in partial sunshine form. There will be a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow after complete sunshine for our Tuesday. Well, here's the latest surface map, and right now there are some a uh, couple of different high-pressure areas that are providing us with the clear skies today. A very strong high here in the northern plains, and this whole area will be dominated by strong high pressure and this will uh, dominate our weather scene here from Thursday right through the upcoming weekend. It'll, it'll be a cold air mass. It is a Canadian high and we will have north winds on Thursday. We'll start off Thursday probably somewhat below normal in the mid 50s for example in most of the mid-Atlantic region. Our uh, normal highs now are closer to 60 degrees but again that cold air mass should modify some somewhat over the weekend and we'll have Rather pleasant temperatures, probably mostly in the 60s over the weekend, along with plenty of sunshine. There, there's a weak frontal system out here in the middle part of the country. Again, that may spark a shower or two late tonight, but certainly nothing significant. And many areas will remain totally dry right through the nighttime hours. Well, here's a GFS run from last night, 0Z. Uh, time frame, and this is the computer forecast map for tomorrow morning. We'll take a look at tomorrow morning and then Thursday morning and Friday morning and there's really one dominant player here and that is this high pressure area sitting by tomorrow morning over south central Canada and there's a, a cold air mass associated with this high and north winds here uh, moving into the Great Lakes region and that chilly air will move into the mid-Atlantic region on Thursday and again Thursday will be a chilly day with a north to northwest breeze and temperatures below normal probably in the mid 50s in most areas during the afternoon and here's a GFS map for Thursday morning. Again, strong high pressure sitting right over here in, in south central Canada. A north wind. And again, Thursday will be mostly sunny but chilly. There will be some clouds in the, in, in the mountains of upstate Pennsylvania, for example, and West Virginia. But for the most part, partly in mostly sunny skies here along the uh, I-95 corridor. Chilly, though, somewhat below normal as this certainly is a cold air mass, but it'll modify day after day with plenty of sunshine to help that modification process. And here's Friday morning's computer forecast map from the GFS model. That high pressure moving a little bit closer now, a strong high just on the north side of the Great Lakes, dominating the weather scene here. There is some moisture and a storm developing here in the southeastern states, but that should stay to our south over the weekend thanks to this strong high pressure system. So again, Canadian high pressure takes over control of our weather from Thursday on right through the weekend. It looks like a pretty nice weekend after a cold beginning with this new air mass come Thursday. It'll modify and the weekend should feature pretty pleasant temperatures for this time of the year. That's it for now for the SIWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.